Hello you guys, my name is Northern Gamer 207 welcome to my channel. Um, sorry if I look like I've been crying, like my back's hurting today, I have this little Velcro ice pack around my back, like under my shirt, so like the ice pack part goes like around your back and then you just take it and Velcro it, put it through the loop and everything and Velcro it onto you so it stays. Um, and that's been helpful for me. <laughs> Um, now, if you want to know what my channel is about, we do some gaming. It's a variety channel. We do gaming. We do Sims. We do Stardew Valley, House Flipper, Ancient Aliens. Like, we do a few games. Um, and I'm open to new games. I want to kind of keep giving you guys more content. I am, I'm autistic and I survived a brain injury. So that's a little more about me. Um, so I'm slowly branching out of my comfort zone into different niches. Because um, I don't just want to stick to one niche here on YouTube. I do love the doll community. We do a lot of doll unboxings, toy reviews, things like that. I do some like vlogs, some shopping hauls, a lot of stuff like that. So you'll see different kind of contents. If something just isn't the type of content you want to watch that day, that's fine. <laughs> um, watch what you like for my channel. Um, I'm fine with that. Like You don't have to watch every video if, if it's something you're not interested in. Um, or you could give it a try and see if it's something new you might like. Um, I do bedtime stories for kids as well on my, uh, Northern Kids playlist. I have videos that are not suitable for kids, like my Law & Order Legacy series. They are for 18 plus. Um, I have that restriction, uh, just because I want this to be a safe space for anyone who comes and watches. Um, my, like, Northern Kids bedtime playlist that is directed for kids a lot of my other videos aren't but I still try to keep it family friendly just in case you got like a niece sitting over there watching like they don't need to they don't need to see it if it's not appropriate for their ears and whatnot so I do try my very best my very best um today we're going to be doing something new because like I said I'm branching out into different niches and I'm very inspired by other um youtubers one of the YouTubers I'm very inspired to, I got to know in a, I got to watch one of their videos thanks to a uh, Facebook group I am in, which was very, very exciting. Um, my mother just messaged me, by the way. I, I sent her, I was so proud, I had a 350 subscriber goal for the month. I set a goal, it's never like a very big one, it might be like 340 subscribers next month. Um, but I set a goal that I would like to achieve for my channel, and then I try not to pay attention to the numbers, but I, look, I, I, I saw it today, you know, you see it when you pull up your YouTube, and I was like, oh my goodness, I reached my 350 subscriber goal, uh, but that's off topic, I just, I think it's sweet that my mother was like, wow, you did it! Um, and so, anyways, I'm gonna find the name of the, uh, YouTuber who, uh, inspired me to do what we're going to be doing today which is comic corner we're going to talk about comic books i thought that would be fun um let's go let's go down 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 searching through names searching through videos don't mind my bad singing you guys don't unsubscribe because of my singing please uh it was uh okay let me just volume off it is bucket think tank and i will link their channel in the description for you guys because like i think that their video was awesome um so we're gonna do our own comic corner he basically you know gives you a, a summary of like the comics that he's read and you see pictures of the comics and all of that we are gonna read a comic today and then maybe go over it um so Basically, I have this Scooby-Doo team-up comic. I love it. I also have Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse comics. Like, I look for the comics that people are, that I don't think a lot of people are looking for. Like, they're looking for, like, Batman, and I'm over here like, can I find Disney Frozen comics, please? Um, they actually do have them in Salem, Mass, by the way. I almost went home with one. Um, but the first uh, kind of story in this comic is uh it's scooby-doo team up doom sholly fish is the writer um and so that is really really cool the first one features um supergirl 
and it says welcome to midvale the welcome to midvale home of supergirl thanks for coming i really need your help even though it means telling you my greatest secret so you can see the um artwork there um It's the least we can do after you and the super friend saved us from the Legion of Doom. And that is Daphne speaking. It says, but like, what's so high hush, Supergirl? Your secret family recipe for Kryptonian goulash? That's shaggy, and that is so shaggy. Um, everyone knows that I come from the planet Kryptonon. Like my cousin Superman, my parents sent me here in a rocket when our hometown of Ergo city was destroyed that was supergirl so she's basically saying you know my planet was destroyed and i came here sure but that's fred fred's like sure um i feel like i'd have more to say than sure like what are you talking about girl uh maybe you maybe you need some help uh but this is a superhero comic and they they've interacted with superheroes before the scooby-doo gang they have a batman and robin movie that the scooby-doo gang did with Batman and Robin, and they, they like teamed up. It was so, it was such a good movie. I'll see if I can link that. Uh, Supergirl says, But if you're going to investigate this case, I have to tell you something that almost no one else knows that I came to Earth as an orphan named Linda Lee until I was adopted by the Daver, Danvers family. Lemonade and cookies? That's Supergirl's mom. Like, her mom is, her mom is like, let me see if I can get a better. Her, her, her mom, I'm coming up with my hands. That's her parents coming in. They look like ordinary folks. Uh, and she says, thanks, Mom. That's, that's Supergirl for you. And it says, Jinkies, if your problem is big enough to tell us your secret identity, it must be serious, Velma says. But why tell us? Are you being haunted by a ghost, Fred says. I'm trusting you all to keep my secret, Velma. That's Supergirl. And then it says, Nasty Tricks, written by Sholy Fish, drawn by Darrow Britzula, colored by Franco, Fr Franco Risco. I'm sorry if I'm messing up their names. And it says, Supergirl, Supergirl. And not just a ghost, Fred. I'm being haunted by ghosts of everyone in Argo City. Uh, personally, I'd be at the door. I'd be like, look, if a whole city is haunting you, girl, I don't know what you did, but I don't want to be part of it. Like, if they're all haunting you, mm, I feel like you suspicious. Um, so we're going to go to the next page, and it says, it, it can't be. It's like we've been transported to the middle of an alien world. The world I came from, Kryptoni. Complete with the ghosts of family, friends, and most heartbreaking of all, my parents. And then her parents say, Supergirl, you saved the earth so many times. We didn't... Why didn't you save our planet? Why didn't you save us? Oh my god, that is like heartbreaking. I'm trying to get the right one up here. Um... And then Fred, I can't even touch them. They're like, they're ghosts. Well, yeah, that's what she said, Fred. Thanks for speaking out the obvious. It says, L like, I, I think we'll take our cookies and lemonades to go. I'm with Shaggy on that one. I want my, I'm with Shaggy. He's like, I'm taking the food and I'm just catching a ride on out of here. Like, this is your situation. Um... And then he said, because it's definitely time to go. Yeah, Shaggy, I am with you. Uh, it is it is time to go. And I love the artwork. I think it's really cool. Like, they did a great job drawing, like, the Scooby-Doo gang. Now, they're drawn very similar to, like, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? As well as, like, What's New Scooby-Doo? Um, so that's really cool. And then Shaggy go Scooby-Doo's Rook, Ritz, Rot, Ripton. Like, you're right, Scoob, this room's perfectly normal, but then, 
Again, kitchens always make me feel better. <laughs> I agree. Shaggy is a whole mood. Kitchens make me feel better, too. Uh, Fred says, it's normal again in here, too. Guys, the ghosts are gone. Shaggy, are you sure they're not just behind the sofa, Velma? I can see uh, this is so hard for you, Supergirl. Seeing the ghosts of your family and friends must be very upsetting. We've been doing what we can to help her feel better. That's her mom. Oh, her mom seems so sweet. And so has my pet, Streaky. Thanks, Streaky, but I'm a superhero, remember? I'll be okay. And the cat's rubbing against her leg. Her cat is so adorable. Um, you have a rat. Scooby is not impressed with that cat. Um, not a rat, Scoob. A cat. Dog barging into my home. Hiss! Rikes! A super cat! Nobody said anything about super power flying cats. Let me out of here. With pleasure. That cat sounds so evil. Super girls cat is from Krypton too. Oh no, Streaky's from right here on Earth. For some reason though, Streaky gets superpowers sometimes. We're not sure how. Oh. Hey, the basement is my room. Don't touch my stuff. What? Why would I touch your touch cat stuff? Stu Scooby is like running in there. The cat's like flying like that cat right there. Like poor Scooby Dooby Doo. Like I feel for you, Scooby. Uh, yeah, who left this ball of yarn here? No messing with my personal ball of yarn. That's my prized possession. Really? It's a cat thing. So there's Scooby and the cat talking to each other down in the basement. Um, Velma says, Scooby, streaky, come back here. Meow. Whoa, you're, well, your cat is certainly obedient. Ruff, and so is your dog, but but Scooby's flying. I thought you said Streaky isn't from Krypton, and neither actually neither is Scooby, which makes this whole flying thing kind of weird. Uh, oh, I missed a part. The dad goes he isn't, and then Velma goes actually neither is Scooby, which makes the whole flying thing kind of weird like yeah i'd say flying cats are weird daphne um you have superpowers too who me no i yep i do gotcha having you two squabbling like well cats and dogs isn't helping anyone you both need to behave Roki, rupert girl i love scooby he is so cute Velma says, looks like we have a second mystery to solve. How, now how Scooby and Streaky got superpowers since Scooby started flying after he ran into the basement. I'll bet the answer's down there. Velma, very smart. I would imagine so. Like, that would be my first thought would be like, we got to stay away from that basement because something's going on down there. But Velma's like, that's the source of the issue, and I'm over here like, I know that's the source of the issue, but ain't me going down in that basement. Um, the next part says, better let me go in there, go first, in case there's Supergirl. Are you okay? I, I think so. I just started feeling weak, but nothing can weaken Supergirl except magic or kryptonite. Someone was playing marbles with kryptonite no what i recognize that marble it's x kryptonite you mean it's not kryptonite anymore not e x kryptonite capital l a l not e x kryptonite capital x kryptonite last year i was experimenting to try to find a cure but for kryptonite but it didn't work I threw away the X Kryptonite isotype I created, but I guess Streaky must have found it. Maybe that's what gave Streaky superpowers and Scooby too. Could be, but being near the X Kryptonite is taking away your powers. We'd better get you out of the basement, Velma says. So there is the basement. Velma's like, girl, you need to leave this basement. Um, I love the artwork so, so much. Um, let's see. I think 
Ooh, we actually have more pages left than I thought. Um, okay, so I think it goes to like about here. Um, see, what's the, see that? This is all your fault. Supergirl didn't lose her powers until you came around. Me, it was your kryptonite. Oh sure, blame the cat. Isn't that just like a dog? You're worse than crypto. Fred, are you feeling better now? Supergirl, much. It's a good thing that piece of kryptonite was so small or it could have really knocked me for a... Uh, what? Loop! Uh, Rello, again, didn't I tell the two of you to behave, says Supergirl. You need to act like superheroes and you know what that means. Now you... You fought, you have to team up. Daphne's like, you, Daphne's like the boss here. She's like, you know what? You're teaming up, you're, you're figuring this out. You know, that is, that is usually the rule that's coming from the cat. And Scooby-Doo goes, does this make me a superhero? Daphne, okay, maybe now we can finally turn our attention back to the ghosts. Like, I don't think that's going to be too hard because they're bad. Supergirl! Is, is that my ghost? But how? I'm alive and well. Don't worry, these ghosts are clearly fakes. How do you know? Because your parents keep calling you Supergirl. You're right, my parents would use my Kryptonian name, Kara. But then where did the ghost come from? I don't know, but I'm going away from them. Shaggy is my man. Like, he's like, I have no clue where they come from. I don't care. I'm just getting out of here. Like, this this situation is getting too weird for me up in here. Uh, hey, old buddy. Wait for me. Scooby's like, I'll, I'll join you. Um, zoinks. Roops. Ruby. Raggy. Rouch. Ruts. Rat. Noise. Watch the sudden stop, Scoob. Go now if only someone would suddenly stop. It's okay, Shaggy, I'll stop you. Like thanks. Oof, I think. What made Scooby stop? It looks like he's wearing some sort of painful sound. Like disco, I don't hear anything. Besides my heart pounding with terror, that is. Dog ears are more sensitive than human ears, plus Scooby has super hearing now. In fact, now that I'm distracted by the ghosts, I can focus my super hearing and hear it too. Not me. I'm still, like, distracted by the ghosts. And distracted, I mean terrified. And by distracted, I mean terrified. Shaggy's like, sorry, Supergirl. I am not, like, I'm ter too terrified to, like... <laughs> I love Shaggy. He's got to be one of my favorite characters. It sounds like a high-pitched electromagnetic wine like a signal that's being transmitted nearby hmm what's the signal coming from scooby when i was getting down i knocked this off sorry when i was getting down i knocked this off the collar of your cape my cape i don't wear it he, anything on my cape that's it the signal's coming from this device and i'll bet it's been projecting the images of the ghosts too See, when I cover it with my hands, the ghost disappears. Cool. Anyways, glad to see ghosts disappear. Can you hang on to the device for me, Daphne? It's The signal it's sending sounds like a tracking beacon. Maybe I can follow to see where it's coming, where it's going. And who's on the other end? I'll be right back. This is a very advanced piece of equipment. And who could have done this? Velma says, and why would they want to make Supergirl think she's being haunted by her parents, Fred said. Why? To distract uh, Supergirl, of course, so she wouldn't notice me tracking her via my homing signal. And who that would be me? My name is Nastum... Nastalthia. But my friends call me nasty. Our friends call 
Your friends call you nasty? Then what do your enemies call you, Shaggy says. And this is, uh, this is the girl right here, Nas however you pronounce her name. How did all... You did all of this? Why, Fred says. To expose the truth, when I followed my device's signal to Midvale, I assumed it provided my suspicion that Linda da Danvers is Supergirl, but we're, here you are, and Linda's nowhere to be seen, so I know your secret identity, Supergirl. Me? I look nothing like Supergirl, Daphne said. Nice try, but the evidence says otherwise. I planted that mini projector on Supergirl, and now it's in your hand, Nasty said. It's obvious that it's obvious you must disguise your secret identity with a red wig. Ow! What wig? I'm a natural redhead. I'd be pretty mad at Daphne if, like, she went up and, like, I'd be pretty mad at that girl if I were Daphne, like, coming up and touching my hair. Oh, no, then you must wear an invulnerable blonde wig when you're dressed as Supergirl. If you won't admit the truth, I'll have to prove it. Oh, good lord, she's getting violent. Everyone knows bullets bounce off Supergirl. Bang, bang, bang. But they don't bounce off us. Take cover. Daphne's like screaming it to the rest of the gang. Um, come on, Scooby. We have to shield your friends from these bullets. The mouse, the noise still scares me, but at least the bullets bounce off my body. Bang, bang, bang. What's all that noise? It sounded like gunshots. Hello, Linda. Nasty. We go to college together. You two, like, know each other? Wow, you must have some rough sorority prank, Shaggy said. This is no college prank. That, what kind of college student goes around shooting a gun and builds a miniaturized holographic projector and long-range transmitter? Don't be ridiculous. I didn't build the device. I borrowed it from my uncle, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor, like mad scientist, super villain, Superman's greatest foe, Lex Luthor, Shaggy said. Naturally, Nasty says. Oh, just checking, Shaggy said. Re Rex Roofer? Rudvai. And Scooby's getting on out of there. Good riddance. How can any of you understand that much speech impediment, Nasty said. No wonder they call her Nasty, Daphne responded. So Daphne's over here. She's like, you really have, like, a bad attitude, girl. Um, but enough. Interruptions, all those super pets in your yard prove that I was right in the first place. Linda Danvers, you're super girl. Oh, really? Then who's that? What? What? It, it's super girl. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to admit, Scooby. It was pretty smart to pretend to be scared so you could fly off and borrow this Supergirl cutout from the Midville sign. Who was pretending? Well, while you were doing that, I took care of the other expand errand Linda asked us to do. But it can't be. Somebody has to be Supergirl's secret identity. I guess somebody does. In that case, I'm Supergirl, Velma said. No, I'm Supergirl, Fred said. I know I'm going to regret saying this, but I, like, I might be, po I might possibly be Supergirl, maybe, Shaggy said. Rhyme, Supergirl, Rupert Girl. Sh sh uh, that was Scooby-Doo who said that, by the way, you guys. Like, Scooby's letting everyone know, no, it is me. Like, I am on uh, the case. So you can see, once again, Scooby's over here. Shaggy's there. Um, this is just awesome. I love the way they team up. And I think we're getting to, like, the last page. And then I'll summarize this up. No, no, you can't all be Supergirl. But somebody has to be. But, I mean, Uncle Lex. Nasty yelled. Looks like I was right to trust you all with my secret. Thanks for helping me save my secret identity. Poor Nasty, Daphne said. She seemed so confused. It didn't happen to a nicer, it couldn't happen to a nicer girl. I guess she didn't notice 
the streaky streaky giving each of us the x kryptonite at super speed so that we'd gain superpowers temporarily ow yep that's pretty temporarily i guess like the x kryptonite wore off you think i'd better put the x kryptonite away before it weakens super i mean linda again but do you want another dose of superpowers first you were a pretty okay superhero for a dog. Aw, Streaky's warming up to Scooby-Doo. Um, um, no more flying for me. I'm scared of heights. But you're not so bad either for a cat. So now that you know the ex kryptonite is here and what it can do, are you going to get rid of it? Daphne asked. Probably not. If the X kryptonite can give Earthling superpowers, it's better for me to have it here where I can keep an eye on it. Besides, Streaky's earned his superpowers. He deserves it. Well, I guess you won't be bothered by ghosts anymore. True, but it's almost too bad they were phonies. I love my Earth parents, but I also miss my Kryptonian parents. Sometimes it feels like they're close enough to look right over my shoulder. And then there's her parents. You see, Aurora... Our daughter, Kara, has trumped another, over yet another villain, Supergirl's mom, Kryptonian mom. But will she ever know how proud we are, Zoral? Kara doesn't even know that we survived Argo City's destruction by traveling into this parallel dimension, or that we're still trapped here now. Be patient, my dear. Someday we'll find a way out of this dimension. We'll be reunited with our daughter and we'll be a family once again. So that is the first comic in Scooby-Doo's team up. Doomed up Mystery Inc.'s craziest team ups yet. Um, where they team up with DC superheroes. Um, I don't... The story um, once again was called Nasty Tricks. Um, it was really, really good. So basically, she calls the gang in because she's seeing ghosts and she thinks they'll be able to figure it out. Turns out it's a projector causing the ghost, as we read. And then, like, on top of that, um, there's this ex kryptonite which gives humans powers and dogs. And I love how at the end the gang was all like, I'm Supergirl, I'm Supergirl. And then nasty ran away because like there can't be that many supergirls like come on like she was just like what so confused um and so i just really like this let me know if you want me to read another comic out of here or do a summary of some of the comics because some of them are very very cool and interesting like there's one with um i think the fal the the falcon next the falcon dude um, I'm not sure what his name is. Uh, it's called, it was a dark and gritty night. Um, and it's got like the blue falcon and everything in it. I think that's pretty cool. I would highly recommend this comic book. Um, I, like I said, the artwork is just cool. Like to see the DC superheroes with like the Scooby-Doo gang. Um, I just love it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below your thoughts and opinions. Um, if you'd like me to read the comics or just summarize them to you guys. Because I could do either one and like just show you guys the artwork. Um, it is kind of hard to read them and show you guys the artwork at the same time. But I do hope you saw most of it. It's beautifully drawn. Like my hat's off to the, uh, the artist. Um, and I really, I, I, I like that, like, Lex Luthor's niece is, like, the bad guy um, and everything. I thought that was cool. Like, I love comics. Let me know what your favorite comment it, comic is in the comments down below. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.